Hello everybody and welcome back to Goldman Tutorials. This is a special KYC episode by popular demand. Now that we've completed our ICO, we have already sent tokens to airdrop, bounty participants and people who purchase tokens. But there is a number of people that haven't received their tokens because their KYC is not in order. So I've made this video especially for those people who have Goldman accounts, who have KYC, but they probably did one small little thing wrong. So by popular demand, people have asked me to make this video and there we go. Straight away, log on to your Goldman account, go into KYC. But what you need to have ready is, firstly, you need your passport right here, or your ID, government issued of course. The next document you need to have is that very same passport with you in it. So it's a selfie that shows the passport that you shown the other time then the next one will be a bank statement you need a bank statement that has the same details of the passport and the selfie passport all right so that we actually know that okay this is the same person with all this evidence all right now log on to goma.io enter your password then get into your dashboard once you're in your dashboard click on view my kyc so we're assuming that you already have done KYC, but you probably did something wrong. So I'm just going to show you what you need to do, right, so that you pass your KYC. Because a lot of people probably just uploaded just an ID, but no selfie, no bank statement, or maybe ID and a bank statement or a proof of residence, but no selfie. You need to have all three documents so that you can pass your KYC. Now that you're inside your KYCs, Quickly scroll down, go and edit KYC information so that you can edit what's on there. Okay, now you can update your KYC. I'm assuming you've already put your name, middle name, surname, country of origin, country of citizenship, and country of residence. We I really want to show you guys is this part where people are failing their KYC. Right here. We have three slots where you upload information. You need to upload on all three slots the appropriate information. For example, here I've uploaded my passport. So this is where you put your government ID or passport, it's required. Now on the next part is where you put a selfie with that ID or passport. And this part is where you put your proof of residence. It might be a bank statement or a water bill, or if your name is not there, make sure it's notarized. Okay, this is how you do it. You click on choose file. Then you go to that folder I showed you where I keep my passport pictures and my proof of residence. You click on the selfie part. You see that it will update on this. It says selfie, right? You go on the next part. You click on choose file. It will take you to the folder where you keep your pictures. Then click on the bank statement part. Wait for it to update. There it is. I have attached. Now we go to the next part. Please make sure all three parts are uploaded. You will not pass your KYC if you don't do all three things. I hope you understand that. We go to the next part. What's also important is you need to put your Bitcoin talk username. That's the only way we can find your profile in the website for us to check KYC. That's right over here. You type in your Bitcoin talk username, you know it. Once you're done with that and you are sure that every single detail that you need to put is there, go right at the bottom right and click update. The moment you click update, it means your information is updated and the team can now go to the back end and look into your KYC. I hope this video was helpful. If you need further assistance, you can join us on our Telegram chat group. You can log on to the YouTube channel. There are more videos to help you guys out. And... Good luck on your KYC. You only have seven days to complete it. Thank you.